I like Omni Knight, but that's one. Tusk. Tusk. So it's gonna be a Tusk support most likely. Yes. It's face rush against the draw. Really good. It could just be a, a flat top flat lane. This could be the first blood right now. MMY is moving in quick. He can go start with a stun, follow up into the hex with a rock of a rock. Phobos not tanky enough to survive this, not win the shards, or maybe he will. Back behind the tower, TEB supports coming in on 11 life. He has too low. FNG with a stun. Murder's Pro underneath the tier 1 tower. LGD call for a moment. It's something we haven't talked about too much because we've been focusing a lot on the aggressive aspect of things, but. Mm -hmm. Initiating into LGD is actually very difficult. There are a lot of things that need to happen for you to be successful in that fight. They will lose the tower. Oh, that's a really, really... Oh, wow. Uh, that was a small, get out of small gap to walk around the tree line. Gonna gust back Yao, but Elodin finger down and destroyed by the cooldown of the gyro. Plus the tier one tower. It was meant to be the 10 to 15 minute mark when Virtus Pro were meant to come online. But right now, LGD with his five man wall move. Virtus Pro just have no answer to the Chinese. They've got a really big problem now, which is they can't really enter their jungle anymore. They lost the access point towers. Uh, LGD have good aggressive warding, and LGD flat out just have the better skirmishing heroes right now. Lina's only level 5, not 6 yet. Same for Rubik. We're 12 and a half minutes in. This is pretty unusual for Virtus Pro, uh, at least in this tournament. I feel like their supports and their offlanes have been getting a lot of levels. Uh, DK Phobos is also only level 5, so... DK Phobos is dead. Hook shot in from Xiao Wei, locking him in. Lil needs to force it back, but he gets burned by the Cox. Coming in a little bit too close, but now they go on maybe, gusting him back out again. Trying to buy a little bit of space. I still can't believe that tier 1 tower remains in middle lane. Bottom lane, if he's in trouble, but... All down. BKB. FNG's in trouble. On the run out of here, he needs more life. The rocket's gonna kill him. They need someone to get rid of this for him, and Lil, the Storm God, was jumping for it desperately. Couldn't reach it in time. And while he was doing that, Silo was TPing back to base, enjoying the spoils of war. That was a level one homing missile as well. So any bottle charge, any... Yeah, well, destroying the rocket, of course, would be great. So another kill. He had to expend a BKB charge for that. So I, I don't think that's a, a, an incredibly good kill for LGD, but it's definitely better than not going for it. Illidan's trying to keep the rest of LGD away. The shards, it doesn't lock in Illidan, but Xiao Wei will. The snowball's coming as well, but Gus can't push him back. The Fissure will push Yao out of the cogs, but it will not stop him from killing the Dro Ranger. Xiao Wei's battery assault working in combination with the Walrus Punch, and maybe to the front lines, Lil's gonna pick him up and throw him back. So they got a way to get this instant kill. Fissure out, MMY's gonna jump, God. Where's his silence gonna come? The call down, three heroes to burst broke off this one. The four stopped down by Phobos, getting himself away from Xiao Wei, but Xiao Wei keeping on the back of him. The battery of Soul will finish the job on Illidan. Sile's gonna finish this job. Xiao Wei's actually made to pick up a double kill, and Illidan actually away to safety for now. TPing out, FNG will not be so lucky, and actually Illidan won't either! The blink dagger on the SF gets him there in the nick of time. And now they go in for that range rax take and God jumping up forward, but Xiao Wei going in deeper. He forced up into that one. They find the Illidan and they'll go over to God as well as FNG retreating back behind the tier four towers. Only the storm has the ability to escape at the moment and the TPing a long way forward. Actually trying to get outside the base. Xiao Wei so low, Laguna Blade. It's five seconds off cooldown. It's enough to kill Xiao Wei. He's got to live for five seconds. Maybe not even possible. Storm Spirit a long way out. They lose the Lina. And the storm TP ball attempt to get a kill was not enough damage to pick up the LGD. In recent times, he's become a lot more stable, but he's been renowned for playing like super shot. Oh, Xiao Wei just didn't have the length on him, but Illidan, they're trying to force up him into the base, not possible. Maybe we'll trigger the BKP and the four stuffs, and the walk back was just enough for Illidan. Oh, Fissure? Yeah, they get one on Yao. It's going to allow Lil to steal shards. Not a bad ability. Going to turn around, Xiao Wei back in again. FNG with a stun, the Laguna Blade over on Xiao Wei. They're looking for the kill, but then again, the Glimmer Cave doing the work. God, he just wants to find the kill, able to do so. The gem's on the deck. But so are three of the VP players. Trying to run himself away, but God, there's just no mana. The Bloodstone denied, but can they keep him stunned up long enough? And no! They just let the Requiem play out a song. The loser of this series goes out, so it's all, all or nothing. But they leave maybe on the front lines. LGD, they know the burst is there. And then MMY, the Orchid from God. He wants to finish the job. MMY, Glimmer Cave, up though. God can't see him. He can't kill him. FNG's down. Phobos as well. The tournament maybe winding up the only Illidan. Destroyed. Silo will actually take the ultra kill. They'll take the bottom rack. And they'll take the GG. LGD, a terrific performance. It looked a little bit weird with the snowball on the top lane. But after that, it was all Gucci for LGD.
I kind of like it. I don't yeah, think they have a lot of control for Slark. There's no control for Slark uh, apart from the stun from the Lina. Yeah. There's Flash Rack. <laughs> Tons of AOE damage. Oh, wow. Pain. That's very odd. And it is an Illidan the Shrek. And out there's another sentry. Uh, Nightmare top lane. Yao could be in trouble. This might be the first blood with the stun and the brain tap and lightning. It will be. Virtus Pro get their combo off. And the Dark Seer is the casualty of war here for LGD. It's not for golden experience. In fact, the experience is 100% on zero. While Illidan now being charged down with a Pulse Nova with Laguna Blade. They're able to find the kill on the Latrak. And maybe even Lil with a Life Strike Array. In comes maybe huge amounts of damage working for him. And two quick kills here for LGD to complete his TP and get in while Lil, he's in more trouble. Brain taps a life back that MMY stole. Not all of it, but the Fissure Block catching out too while Illidan standing on Yao. The Pulse Nova is going to go to work. The Darkseer throws down the wall. FNG's actually dying if he's not careful. You can't hold the inside of a wall until the Sonic Wave Room got all over LGD. But not really. Again, enough damage to find another pick off. He'll have to blink himself away to safety. Tracked up at the moment, the Obs and Sentries are left behind, so they see maybe chasing an FNG. He needs more time to find mana before he can TP out. Now he's got that time and the TP. He'll get himself away to safety and we'll get a 2-1 trade-off. Where Virtus Pro, they do get a slight advantage in it in both gold as well as experience. Illidan to have, and the Sentry Ward. Xiao Wei's about to walk in range of it. They'll see him straight away, and there's your Fiend's Grip on a real target. It's gonna be the Bounty Hunter and the follow-up Fissure. It keeps Yao and MMY away, so Xiao Wei will drop, and now MMY didn't realize Illidan was there. He came out of the infantry with the damage with the Echo Set Blinken. They'll still pick up the Lashrak, but with the CM ulti, Silas trying to run himself one way, away one way, while the Templar Assassin is just on a small little hunting spree of her own. Trying to chase down Phobos, he'd have to blink himself over the hillside. Courier is even dying as well. The Radiant lost their Courier. But it's still not going to stop him from coming over. A five-man smoke move from LGD. Roshan down at 3.5k. They need more time here. Virtus Pro, they don't really have it. The tracks begin. Lil's being exposed. They're sending in the PL Illusions. Look at Phobos walking on the cliffside, waiting for that Echo Slam time. Sila moves forward. The Bane's already down. CM, FNG on the hillside throwing out the ulti. But we still don't have anything really until that Sonic Wave connects on Xiao Wei as well as MMY, but Illidan. He doesn't have a BKB, gonna get Lagooned up in the air, trying to buy a little bit more space as the cell fuels into the Pulse Nova, but he actually ended up killing himself similarly on the wall. Maybe stunned up by Phobos, but it took so long for him to come in. LGD, they wipe four players of VP off. That Octarine cause repairing the lack of Bloodstone charges on the track for the moment. There's now PL looking for the kills after Phobos. And Echo Slam needs to buy more space. Phobos just doesn't have it. Not when the Shuriken Toss bounces up as well. Illidan, they'll chase him in deeper. LGD looking to come on a rampage. FNG, in fact, they even just lost the Kuri of the Radiant side. But it does not matter. It was the Agon himself that lost Lil. Has to put himself into a nightmare. But the nightmare is what's happening inside of Burst Pro's base. FNG, no ulti. The back will cancel. He held it for so long. BB are completely team wiped. And right now, with no buybacks on anyone but the Earthshaker, they will lose potentially two lanes of racks, if not more. They don't even care about the backdoor protection. Whatever. Let's... And go at God's waiting for him, and Sila comes up. FNG, quick work. Sonic Wave will be there with the back wall. But it's pro. They're getting fought outside their own base and dying. God's on the run, but Sila just dashing himself down. And this could be the opening. 80 seconds without the Queen of Pain. Atlas Shrek down. That's really over. They can just go down and take the GG push here. LGD. There's nothing left for Virtus Pro. They will be eliminated from the International Five. It's been a terrific run. I mean, that's not much choice. They can just come in with support and help their set last hits. Oh, let's see how this plays out. He's going to be fine healed up by the Dazzle. Might actually so try going back in. Yeah, one. here we go with the post track onto Aggressive. He's going to be able to, but needs to be careful of Q, of course, with that solo assumption. And then he's going to turn around and find the kill. First blood there to Q. The backup is there available for the EG. Aggressive's going to go in with the remnants here. But Samael here with the ult. It's all being blocked by the flame guard. Now Samael's in trouble. The snowball's closing in. We'll catch him with the sun. They are going to find Samael. No, he's still alive. We'll now go down. That's going to be the first casualty. Universe getting low here. CDC moving in. PPG trying to heal him up. We'll find the kill onto Guard. Now they turn their attention to Fear, but Fear's just a little bit too tanky with the Weave Armor ticking up. Oh, Universe gets the kill there onto Dust. Fear's still alive. He's looking for Q. He's going to get it. And BPD will finally go down. So it's a two for three favoring the side of VG. Don't 
Aggressive wants to fight though, going straight in. Yours is going to be there. Shiki going forward, looking for Aoi. Aoi, the Shallow Grave is there just in time from PBD. Universe has jumped in the middle of it all though, and they'll lose the Sand King. PBD's actually trapped up here by the Ice Shell. Solar Subject going free to bail with the Requiem, gets it off. Now Fear is going to be able to turn this one. The uh, Snowball coming out straight for Sumail. Fear being healed up by PBD from the back lines. And Fear getting low, but he's got the Shallow Grave. He's trying to find something, but I don't know if he'll find anything in here. And I think he'll pay with his life. He's looking for Q, but the soul is searching from Q. Coming out beautifully. Now Aoi as well. The Searing change from Aggressive. All in all, Danzel doesn't really care about it. Razor, you can still Static Link. His ultimate still G, gonna... making a beeline straight for the top lane. Finding Garda here with the Burrows try. Going straight for the Undyne, but the Glimmer Cape. He's going to be able to get himself away. Q looks for the TP out, but the Yours is there to cancel it. They'll try and look for the Vistage, and they should be able to find it. Max Pop is not enough. Oh, but the slot it fits. The Battle Fury damage is not quite enough. Aggressive will go down. And now EG looking for more. Shiki on the back. But I'll be there with his day. Out comes your song. Now, what's the plan for EG? Who are they going to look to take down first? They're looking for the Familiars, but they'll find one of them. Will they be able to clean this one up? Here we go. Epicenter from Universe on the sidelines. Trying to come in, but they're already dead on the side of CDC. They found three. It's a double kill for Samael. Oh, they want to find Samael here, and it'll be a massive kill if they can. They're trying to move forward here. Shiki with a blink, but Samael just too damn tanky. And oh, oh, where's the, where's the tanky? We need to get a Universe in and get yourself in it. So there we go with the Epicenter of the bunch of But the Snowball dodge. They dodge a huge amount here. They turn it around. They get the kill to Samael. Beautiful play there by Exley with the Snowball. They might find more. Chasing down. The Shallow Grave's there from BBD's, look at the TP! Can they cancel it? No, they can't! Aoi will get out! They might be able to find BBD here, the Ice Shards won't quite catch it, but Shiki with the slow... No, it's the Solar Subject first, he's BBD down to the Snowball as well! Fear gets the Stanley Link off, Shiki in a bit of trouble, needs to get himself up, but he's got the Aegis, he's A-OK! -okay. They might even be able to find Fear here as well, and TA's gonna come straight back into the game, Shiki's gonna look at it with the slow for the trap, the stun as well for the Familiars, and Snow will be thrown out to Shiki, but EG, they've got three heroes down, aggressive coming in, moving in on Fear! They're gonna continue to do a CDEC! They fight Fear as well! None of the heroes on EG have buyback available! We'll keep Fear safe for some time. Aggressive's here as well, though. They want to fight C-Deck. Universe gets a Burrow Strike very nicely onto all three of them, but now they're trying to turn this one. EG Sumail moving forward here, trying to find the record for the damage. The MKP canceling the cast here at the end, but he still finds the kill onto Shiki! Fear getting low to aggressive. Remnants himself away. XZ with a punch. Takes down Fear. Solar the assumption onto Sumail. Sumail getting low as well. The slider fits. The crits is too much. It's a double kill for XZ. They should be able to fight Sumail as well. They will! Three heroes falling on the side of EG and PPD left to run himself away. Away. They're going to chase this one down here, CDC. They should be able to find the Dazzle as well. And they will indeed. Four heroes dropping on EG. And CDC lose nothing. Buyback from Sumail and PPD. They'll look towards XZ on the Tusk. It's all the subject you're flying back towards Aoi. Sumail, incredibly low. He's got the shallow grave here. Shiki looking for PPD. Trying to chase out the Dazzle. Will find it. Shiki eats the cheese. But he's going to go down as it was well. Potentially, yes, he will. Shiki's going to fall. And now, Sumail, he's getting low as aggressive. He's still at full health. Back up with the second life. It's a three for three. And now they'll be able to fight fair as well. Soul Subject so bringing it low. It's aggressive as no damage. He's got enough. Triple kill. Are we looking for the TP? Can they cancel it? Yes. The Searing Chase. It's going to be a team wipe for CDC. GG. They've outplayed EG. What a performance from CDC. Coming back from what looked like the most horrific early game. Just dominating EG. That one fight in the middle. Like getting the two sets of racks. And then after that. Aggressive Semba Spirit getting out of control and EG just didn't have an answer. If EG don't like build the Sables onto their heroes, it's gonna be a hard game nonetheless. Witch even if you're playing with Darkseer Trian. Bottom lane, going in a bit aggressively onto Aoi. Aoi dropping now down to half health. Needs to be careful here. Living Armor will save him for the time being. The Maledict, it might just be enough here. Yes, it is! Q! A TP here as well. Wow, he's going in now. The doppelganger to avoid the charge. Shiki's TP'd in. He's gonna look for the Laguna. We'll find it. Aoi's gonna go down. And now CDC will be able to find more Snowball forward. Universe surging himself away, but the Ice Shard still trap him in. They go. PPD's down up for the fight, though. They're trying to turn it. Fear getting the paralyzing cars gone to him. Shuriken bouncing between them all, and they'll lose the Tusk. So they finally kill him return. Deathwatch being laid down. Now EG on the retreat. Tracks are going out. Fear surged away. There'll be the blink out from Sumail. He's still tracked up. Can they move in onto the Shiki? Looking for a stun. Oh, he's going to find it. Oh, catches Sumail. And they will find the Queen again. CDC reacting very nicely there to the aggression of EG. Towards them, there's a sentry on the river, so he needs to be careful where he goes. Next, he's going to walk straight under it. Aoi going in with the dust. They should be able to find the kill. Sonic Wave comes out, they'll get it. Now they're trying to look for the return, though. CDC going in with the snowball and the punch. Onto PBD, gets the overgrowth off. Now the Death Ward laid down. They'll find 
Aoi PD, Aoi with the charge of Shiki, Shiki gets Laguna off onto some mail. Now CD is off the back, Aoi trying to find the badges, he'll get it! The ice shards come out, Aoi's gonna go for it! The wall's been dropped! Skew still alive, finally goes down there to the Illusions! Oh, oh, oh. Noble on the top lane, TP's coming in from CDC as well, they wanna try and fight this PPD. It's gonna get caught out here by the ice shards, the Shuriken coming out as well. And now with the light strike, oh! Beautifully catching two, Laguna onto PPD, now with the death ward! But it's actually some mail that's turned up with the Sonic Wave, will find the kill onto Witch Doctor, now aggressive with the TP up, he wants to join the fight, moving in onto Fear, the Shuriken as well! Fear He's still alive, he will notice the illusion, yeah, the Maladic gets him in the end. Now the Yule's holding some mail in place, they're gonna look for a fourth here. He will be able to get his blink out, but now it's Aoi, there's gonna be the attention of CDC coming in onto him, and they'll get it as well. Four heroes down on EG, CDC only losing the Witch Doctor. Oh, there's gonna be the TP in from Aggressive, he's coming into the tier one, he knows that they wanna fight here, Shiki moving in, we'll find the Yule's onto Aoi here, they're gonna set this up for the stun. Aoi, he's gonna try and TP, weighs it, up charge away, he's not even gonna get the chance to do so, now with the wards, but not easy fear. They're gonna look for more Laguna Blade as well. Razor dropping low. We'll get the mech off. The wall's been dropped, but it doesn't matter. Fear's gonna go down. Universe, he's gonna look to surge himself away, but aggressive and Q2. Ace and down with the Diffusal Blade. Tony Wave comes out, but it doesn't matter. Universe to fall. PPD just having to get himself out of there with some mail. The track on some mail. They're gonna continue to chase this down. They've got the vision on the BBD here with the track out as well. BBD in trouble. They'll get themselves a fourth kill. Some mail. The only last man standing there for each. Uh, is that it? That's it. 20 minutes in. CDEC. What a series, what a winner back in final for them. Doxion dying. Yeah, in, I think so. Easy. So. That was a pretty obvious Ember pick as well as the last pick. When you have Darkseer combination, they needed more right click. Oh, nice lineup. All right, thank you very much. He's not level two, just said F5 wants to go the for stun. this. He's committing for it, in goes the Burrow Strike, and out goes the auto attacks. Yao still juking, still juking. They may die on the way out here, they're trapped by the creeps. Uh oh, F1. Oh, you want to strike first, MMY in front. Should be able to breach high ground here. It seems like they want to slow down the v the Sand King jungle game of FY. A Super and Fenrir look to break this. They're going to engage now. Level 2, Burrow Strike available, and they will drop the ward. Super getting caught out. There's the two arrow chains. Maybe popping the haste and using it to run away. Now the hook from Ice Lights. He only connects on his own teammate. Not the best counter initiation as of yet, but they finish off the tombstone. MMI force back. Super chasing in, and Yao surges himself away. Xiaowei gets low. Again, the chains, but everybody tanky and healthy until the oh, gyroster comes in from behind. Silar finding the opening, two down, and Vici in a headlong retreat, maybe. He wants a bit more here. They actually hit the surge, and a remnant or two available, but he's not gonna commit for this. Oh, he is now so low. In and he will find the Rubik, still going north, is maybe he wants something else here. He's looking for super. He turns back onto FY, who does manage to dodge the chains, courtesy of the Sandstorm, but still FY finished off in the NLGD, cleaning up this VG gaming jungle. It's three down. Third smoke won't connect. Now the hook though. Ice Ice Ice, he's found one. It's MMY. Looks for the two hero cog pushback, but instead the tomb gets dropped. He finds nobody. Maybe looking to turn this. They chain and isolate Ice Ice Ice, who drops the cogs and is just going to hang on for dear life. Remnant out available. Maybe going in with auto attacks. Yao finally will fall here. The grave on Ice Ice Ice, keeping him alive. They're forced to jump maybe back, but charging in is Silar, who pounds his way right through the dazzle that was on mid. Now the call down. Blake Burrow from FY. Where's that Epi? He doesn't have the clarity, but no mana. Super just Taking it in the mouth, he can't hang on. FY, can he turn this? It's Al who does. Makes it three, it's four. The lone survivor, Silar limping away on 50 HP. My oh my, it turns out they didn't even need an epicenter that fight. And that's the scary thing right now for LGD because that was a fight that looked no four step to save him. And they are engaging with the, uh oh, watch out for FY. He gets lifted, he's got the epicenter. They drop the tombstone in time and they will bring him down. Tomb gets killed off, but no epi for this fight. Didn't even get a chance to channel it. Super with his own BKB moving in. Shall we? Very slow here. Can't get away. It's up to Silar. Doesn't have the BKB. Remnants have arrived. Maybe trying to turn this, but he's fighting into three. Can he finish off Howie? Even the grave. He can't do it. It's four. Maybe remnants in away and just running for dear life. The creeps almost catching him out. But he will escape in the end. And again, another one fight for Vici without the Epi Blitz. They just don't need it. But I think LGD, oh. they know about the Roche. They have fight to take it. this fight. This, this is, is their only smoke. smoke. It's the big smoke that you mentioned, but Ice 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 is in position. He can completely interrupt oh, he this game. This. Starts it out. He gets the cogs down. Roche is in danger of dropping. Who's going to get it? Will they go in? Do they engage? Where's the leap? Oh, he's too late. He went for the remnant, but doesn't find it. Has no and, he, and now the Aegis on the Queen of Pain, who jumps in, finds the quad ball, driving Tyler back. Ice 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 hurrying him away. And meanwhile, MY also pursuing down MY. They've got him too. They're looking for the third. And the line of Pearl to get him as well. Two forward, How's gonna deal with it? No tombstone for this fight, really. Oh, the cogs. now, and there's the cogs comboed with the Queen of Pain on. They found another kill. How just goes in with an epi from that one. They're all dead. BG wipe them out again, and LGD tap out. Beautiful.
wonderful team play by Vici Gaming. This they all knew when they wanted to go in. This team has come alive here at the main event. They looked lost in the group stage. They looked like the, their mojo was gone, but Blitz, they, they had a pep talk. I just don't know how else to put it. Somebody got through their heads that you guys are a great team. But we that's a wild that one. one. Why, why Sniper? Last time we saw it, it was versus the Pugna Ward as well as the Tombstone. That's the main reason why I thought it was decent. And Dusky's good versus Sniper. Okay, Sniper is the final pick. Uh, we've been surprised by it once before, and we've been surprised by it again. Let's go to game two then, with the original Lone Druid. LD, it's all yours. Zombies just make it so hard to fight into anything. You just can't move. I mean, even Luna is going to have trouble getting away from that. Nice shards here on the bottom lane, though. Zial catches out Hal. He doesn't quite keep him under the tower. He's just going to go to work. Oh, he's going to fight him. His damage being stolen, but Hal's going to die to this. It's a totally unexpected first blood. With this, you're not pushing into him. Certainly not without an, a gank. And speaking of ganks, it's Silo they find. Neutrals are here to prevent an eclipse, but they don't get a stun off the bat. Now the curse, that's what they needed to lock him down. Laguna secures the kill. LGD coming in from the rear. They fissure the rest of each way. Ice shards keep two in, almost, but not entirely. They squirm away to the north and now look to go back in, but they fight without the tombstone here. Ice Ice Ice, only 350 health. He's definitely in kill range. Snowball coming forth. Shrapnel covering the retreat, held in place. Can't survive, even through the embrace. And now an assassinate on the out. No, super, not enough damage. He gets it's caught again by the Fissure. Chao Wave controlling Vici beautifully here. Biding their time. Are they going to show anyone? It's just super they've shown in the mid lane. LGD probably know there's more here, but they're not afraid by this. In oh, they got to go yellow. right now. The backstab is coming. There's the snowball. Eclipse is at the ready. It is going to do work on the carries, bringing them both to low almost instantly. FY also in danger, punished on the low ground. It's Ice 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 next, wrecked by LGD. They'll kill off the tombstone as well. The lone survivor is happy right now. DG Gaming, they have to make something happen at the same time, and I think it's going to come when you see the Razor get a BKB. That's their next timing here. They're going in. in this mid lane. Another jump again. It's on to how the Echo's there as well. Fenrir trying to protect him with the Cold Embrace. We'll keep him alive, but up on the high ground, Ice 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 is being pummeled by maybe the Sanji Yasha. Almost enough to get the kill. Very well timed. Winter's Curse there to save him. So maybe says, screw it. Eat the Requiem. Super dead. And then the Eclipse and Vici are routed and largely slaughtered. The ones that survive limp back towards the well with no real cooldowns to, to hold off this round two of the assault. And the, uh, LGD are just, they're, they're just a, a, an absolute hammer and anvil right now, crushing what little resistance Vici bring to bear. They try to hold the high and making it look all too easy. It's an execution. Vici Gaming are beheaded here in game number two and LGD stay alive to force what is undoubtedly going to be a very exciting and decisive game number three. They were dominant from the laning phase and on, and I felt like that was where they were going to actually struggle. That undying Winter Wyvern lane is incredibly strong. Actually beat, beat DR trialing because they have a melee support. The last time they said that with the Razor, Razor died, so... <laughs> oh, the Visage is back. Also a strong tri laner. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll get your thoughts after the match as we conclude the lower bracket with our final game of the day. Winner takes it all. Lane. There is a Shao 8 Fissure block, potentially. Ice 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 has to be careful, he gets caught into a rocket barrage. Where is he going to go? He doesn't have Surge yet. This is the first blood for LGD, and it goes the way of MMY. The game is so hard to fight against. The only way you take a fight here... Oh, and actually... Courier, he only steals the Enchant Totem. Not the best for FY, but the Lina's waiting. Laguna and straight into the heart of Shao 8 will pierce it and take him down. FY will pay the price, though, as maybe finishes him off. But one for one bottom. Meanwhile, the top lane, how taking this moment to take a free tower, or at least it looks free, until this TPM. He'll be able to get it, and he's going to get away, and how's going to surprising amount of farm, despite the fact that his team hasn't had the best map control. Trying to snowball, and getting up the hill where the Requiem's waiting for Hal. Follow up by Sharks, doesn't he quite pin him in. He's got the Walrus Punch. He jumps forward. Hal is just playing around, the ice and the Ice Blast will connect. It's on two instantly, down with the Tusk. Maybe also in a bit of danger here. There's a Light Strike Array, but no range to make it happen. Tier 2 Tower it opens up a whole lot of options for LGD. Now Wade is going to march down towards the bottom lane. If he shows himself, FY is ready to reveal him with the Blink Dagger at the ready. Could even steal the Fissure, which may be used to farm out the lane. More TP's coming in now as Yao will join him. Has a Glimmer Cape ready. Shows the Fissure. The Snowball's there. The counterplay. Look for it from FY, who leaps in to start off the fight. Now the Ice Blast onto Shao Wade, holding him in position here. Looking for the pickup. He didn't get the Fissure, though. Only the Enchant Totem. Oh, and now Baby's arrived. He erupts onto FY and wrecks him.
Two for one there. Does force out a 10 second BKB. Urge, but they still don't come in. It's FY who starts it off onto Silo. Now the Ice Blast coming in. The Vacuum back. And he will almost instantly drop to half HP. But can they finish him off? Laguna will end him. The counter echo from Xiao Wei. But it's all, well, three already dead here for Vici. Requiem gonna turn this. They haven't dealt with the Shadow Beam just yet. And now Xiao Wei also gonna fall. They get one core. But can they deal with the others? How now arriving and trying to turn it. But he's been forced back at the same time. Illusions bringing MMY low. And trapped in the trees is super. One little chop of the Tusk Cleaver will finish him off, and the only man to survive is Hal. Through the trees, and Ice Ice Ice, oh, he's in front. He's gotta be careful not to get caught. He surges, and he jumps forward. Ice Blast coming in. They saw this coming, the back follow, but Silo's already BKB, and he just starts pummeling. Fiji Gaming, two dead off the bat. The combo, a oh, complete failure. Go down here too. And the Urn Charge, tracking him out. He's got a Yules available. Whiffs on the stun, dumped as punishment for his failure. The lane's even pushed up too, so LGD off the back of this. Oh, just gonna no. go for the racks right now. No high, no buybacks here. Ice Blast cooling down in 15, but they're also durable. Sits so far back. The Rubik's only level 12. He doesn't have something like that. They're going in. They're trying to engage on the Silo. Has the Aegis. Do they want to come in for this? No. Oh, super. super. He hesitates and he dies for nothing. He has no buyback now too. Silar just gonna walk away, still with two lives. They earn them up. They've already taken down the tower. They're going for the mid lane of Rex. They may even rotate on bottom here. There's no buyback, as you mentioned. Silar does even die a single time. Now the Blink Wall that boy down as well. The Prince has fallen, and Ice 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 will be next. Destroyed again by Maybe, who just rushes forward for the second lane of Rex. Dead. Zero buybacks, two lanes of Rex. Vici Gaming tap out, and it's LGD who hang on. The streak ends here. Vici Gaming were undefeated coming into this series.